Battlefield 3's multiplayer brings about a whole new first person shooting experience. It has the sounds, it has the graphics, it has the Battlefield gameplay and even more. So let's see what's cool about them. Having the chance to play this immersive multiplayer is above anything else I ever played. If I needed to summarize it up in one sentence, every fault of Bad Company 2's were mended and then they started piling up the good stuff. Respawn time became shorter, so the pace of the game got quicker. The spawn tickets also got to 100, so the gameplay is a bit longer. To be honest, it takes some time getting used to. You need to be a bit more careful where you run, a bit more cover based shooting and cover to cover moving. But that's not a problem of course. Having 4 squad mates earlier, you were only able to join on one of them. Now you get the mobile spawn points that snipers can put down. You can also spawn on any of the vehicles currently on the map as long as there is an extra place in them. You can still join in a vehicle whether your squad mates are in it or not. So at times you can get up to 6 or even 7, 8 spawn points. So there is no shortage now on where you want to start shooting. I would say that the focus is more on combat between foot soldiers now than before because skilled players who got into choppers in Bad Company 2 could virtually kill you 6 times before someone managed to shoot them down. Now the second weapon you get as an engineer is the surface to air missiles, so I didn't get shot once from above and also around half of the maps got smaller tanks in them that are more easier to take out. And I think this was a really good idea to implement because players can still advance next to a tank, it still gives an advantage but it is almost impossible for you to pin down half of the enemy's team. The game ships with 9 maps and I was hoping that amphibious landing would be included. And what do you know, you get 2 maps from the start that include trying to take the beaches. As mentioned before me, the maps now also have you climbing up the mountain or parachuting down as well. The best examples are Demovent Peak and Terran Highway, both giving a very different shooting range. Snipers are surely pleased with these ones. There are still segments of the map that resemble a bit like a tunnel, and it has been very hard to advance through these in Bad Company 2 as well. But here, as far as I experienced, there were only 2 or 3 times when I felt that there is no way to get around them. Taking 9 maps, each with at least 3 sections, in rush of course, you get at least 27 different areas to shoot around. And all the time I get the feeling that DICE try to provide a different type of terrain to put a river there, some cover, so as to give a bit of a variety to each segment and also to offer different types of approaches. One of the coolest tricks ever is that when you or the enemy got only 10 spawn points left the familiar BF3 music starts kicking in and you definitely feel the rush to give it one more push and often it is at these times when the objectives get armed. It really gets you psyched. Background events and scenery are also magnificent. On top of this there are almost always something filling the air, such as newspapers flying about, leaves, parts of flowers or just simply dust. The sound in this game goes beyond anything I imagined. All the weapons got their distinctive sound, you can easily identify choppers, grenades, explosions and so on. One of the coolest features is when an airplane or chopper flies overhead. On top of this, when you're in a tank and get hit by another, is also something that is probably as close to reality as possible. All the vehicles in the game get disabled by around 40%, meaning the slow movement is still possible and shooting also and around 15% even the turret gets out of control and it basically becomes impossible to shoot at any target. I find this cool because this is one of the reasons why you can't annihilate the whole map with a single tank and the game becomes sort of more dynamic. In Battlefield 3 there is no such thing as a safe place to hide out. Almost everything can collapse, every lookout can be destroyed and obviously looking through a window and saying y'all can get me here is out of question. Areas get so devastated around these attacks that you get the real battle feeling and it's cool blowing shit up. 
Frostbite 2 does an excellent job, all the explosions feel real, debris off of buildings when you hit them, it's exactly the sort of first person shooter that you would expect in 2011. Trees and all other objects as well get pushed aside when the two teams meet, so it's all very realistic. You get a nice little squad menu as well. You can see all the squads, you can leave one at any time if your mates are horrible and see whether there are extra places. Just another new feature, not a big one but definitely important. MCOM stations are more clearly visual now, you can see it whether someone is already disarming it. They have been put in clever areas, so it's good to defend them but it's never impossible either to arm them. A skilled squad can always find the routes leading to them that are being out of sight. You got the prone back, the bipod, a lot of new gadgets, claymores, AT mines, mortars, C4. I mean, C4 is fun. These are all changing the gameplay bit by bit and in a good way. I definitely have to mention the body motion that was borrowed from I think uh, NFL games. It is absolutely amazing, all your body is moving, proning and so on. You can even see the hip movement when shooting and so on. Really lifelike. The most visible will be jumping over objects. Small movement but pretty cool since you'll be using it all the time. You also get suppressing fire, which I find again a good idea. Support is shooting at you, a lot of bullets, you shouldn't be seeing everything 100%. So your screen gets blurred, pretty cool. And finally, there's a countdown at every match beginning, so you can't rush ahead, but everyone has to wait for around 20 seconds, and then all the team gets to move out at the same time. It keeps up the spirits. So all in all, Battlefield 3 has the addictive multiplayer and it offers a whole new experience in this genre. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe and uh, see you next time.